Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Belmont Park here on Friday. It's the 1st of July, 2022. Good luck to the 8th race from Belmont. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean it around the world. Let's look at the 8th race from Belmont. It's a very interesting race. It's allowance optional claimer purse, $94,000. Race for 3 year olds and upwards, never won 15000 twice on the main claim starter or state bread allowance race, which never went through races. I'm still claim price six two thousand five hundred dollars. We have a field of nine horses going to the inner turf course here. The distance of ground of two thousand meters with a distance of ground of a mile and a quarter on the Belmont inner turf course. Two thousand meters, mile and a quarter inner turf course. Rails are out twenty seven feet this weekend. They're preserving the inside for the big stakes races next weekend. My top selection, I'm gonna go with the number nine horse here, Aviano. Let's go 9714 in the Superfecta. 9714 Super. Top selection 9 horse Aviano. Four year old Colt by Medallia de Oro. Top Fletcher trains. Flavian Pratt gets the mount. The horse's most recent out of came 6th of May at Churchill. A mile length on their spongy turf course. And allows for his for $123,000. And the horse liked the spongy turf course. Winning by one quarter lengths. He basically sat back early. He slowly moved his way up. And he got the job done. An all around good race. Coming here today, I would like to see him sit a little bit closer from Y Poster on a speed favoring turf course. I think that's going to be the key to get this horse to the winner's circles today. Uh, two back in the lounge race for 100000 Keen and Amal on the 13th of April. He put a six by four and a half lengths that day. He was very, very wide, and he just never really showed up. Might have needed the race first start up north, and then prior to that at uh, Goldstream, 27th of February, about a mile 16th on the turf course, and option 25. Um, first start in 11 months. The horse finished third by seven three quarter lengths. Horrible beginning. Sat back most of the race, but was really gaining ground late. I didn't think it was a half bad race after all said and done. And then 10th of April, Keeneland on the slab, mile 16th, allowance race 80,000. The horse finished third by five and a half lengths that day. You know, on dirt, he ran okay. Maybe a little bit longer trip, he would have did better. But I didn't think it was a half bad race. And it took him a little bit starts to um, to uh, break the main. But he finally broke it before that on the 28th of February at Goldstream. Mile 16th in main special way, 40K. Winning by a neck from a stupidly wide post drop. He got there in the nick of time. A very, very good run from there. He's been training well. You know, I'm going to give him a shot here at 8-1. You also have to give a shot to the 7-horse space launch. Finally going to a longer trip, which I think should suit this horse well. Most recently at Monmouth, going a mile 16th and ops 25. The horse finished third by one three quarter lengths that day. And from a tracking position, he just took him a little bit of time to get going. I do think he wanted a longer trip off of that run. Uh, before that at Aqueduct in December, a mile 16th on the turf and allowance race 82,000. Went by a head from a tracking position. He won again very, very easily. Coming to a mile and a quarter, another horse training well. 6-1. I'm going to use him in the late pick four. But to recount my selection for the 8th from Belmont, let's take the 9-horse Aviano. Give kudos to the 7-horse Space Launch. 9714 Super. 97 in your multi-race. So good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everybody.